The city of York fell silent as Harry Gratian made his last journey to the Minster. As Harry arrived, there was spontaneous applause from the hundreds of people who travelled from all over Yorkshire to pay their respects to the much-loved broadcaster. Harry was everybody's friend. I just wanted to be here just to see him off. Yorkshire Day as well. He was in our home every night, so he became our friend and we liked him. I just felt I had to come here today yes. and just pay my respects to him and his family. Down to earth man. Just one of us really, wasn't he? I think Harry was so so good on the TV, he was so warm and kind and it's just his whole demeanour was brilliant. So just to be here to pa pass my respects is uh, excellent. Harry's widow Helen and his children followed him into the Minster as the congregation made up of family and friends and colleagues from the world of broadcasting and sport looked on. The service of thanksgiving for Harry's life was led by the Reverend Canon Richard Carew and was packed with Harry's favourite music and moving tributes from wife Helen and their twin boys Harvey and Harrison. Harrison performing the song At the River for his dad. To everyone, Harry was a friend, and we know that we shared him with many. But to us, he was husband, dad, and daddy, and we loved him totally. He was always convinced no one would know him, yet even in the furthest reaches of a family holiday in Porto, the quietest island of the Florida Keys, or the northernmost hill of Scotland. There was always a couple from Barnsley or Whitby who approached him like they'd known him their whole life. And that was Dad. Over the last 19 years, we watched Dad with an ever-present feeling of pride and love. I know that he looked on us with those same feelings. And we are fortunate enough to have had the pleasure of knowing such a truly wonderfully pure human being. <laughs> and we will be better people by having had you in our lives. Love you forever, Dad. Thank you. Keely and Amy held back tears as they spoke on behalf of Harry's Look North family. He became a dear friend, and in 2018, he agreed to marry my husband. I'll never forget him crying when we asked him. He made our special day even more memorable, and it's something that we'll treasure forever. Having to deliver the news of Harry's passing to his loyal friends across the region was really difficult. But I learnt from the best. It's what Harry would have expected. Get on with it, lass. We'll have a glass of Chardonnay afterwards, was his mantra. I add my thanks to you for coming to this service of thanksgiving for the life of a very dear friend and fellow traveller, Harry Gresham. Indeed, it is very fitting to be holding it on Yorkshire Day because he loved Yorkshire. After a service that lasted more than an hour and a half, Harry was led out of the Minster by Lord Centibu to the theme from the West Wing. The tributes in there, there isn't a single one I heard where I couldn't say that's a hundred percent Harry. All of them, his two sons, I mean, and wife, were just incredible. You know, I think everybody just felt like they knew him, and everybody feels, I think, like a bit of something has gone. You know, whether you watch him on the telly or whether you were, you know, family and friends. Um, it was very emotional, but it was an honour to be a part of it. What a wonderful family he's got, too. Um, he will be sadly missed, he will. We all wish he was here to see this. He's not, and we will miss him dreadfully. But I think we've paid, a, I think we've done him proud today. Even I heard things I didn't know about him, and the tears flowed and everything. And I, actually, after this service, I feel a whole lot better because when I first heard the news, I could hardly contain it. We shall all miss him. Everybody will miss him because he was a he, he was a great man, a legend, and a true Yorkshireman. 
Yorkshire has now said its goodbyes to Harry. Tomorrow his family will do the same in private. Ian White, BBC Look North, York. <laughs>